go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane and we're up against an Anivia. This Anivia has like 2 million mastery points, kind of insane. <clears throat> so la last game we played, that was our first game of um, of preseason eleven with the new items. This this game we're gonna test out Night Harvester because I've heard a lot of good things about this thing. So gives you ability power, a um, little bit of health, and ability haste, and then it grants all other items like cooldown reduction, basically, essentially. Um, but you get free damage off of uh, just hitting someone, and then it gives you movement speed as well after that. So we'll see how that goes. I really, I feel very indifferent about the the new like proto belt. It's rocket belt now. It's just it feels like I really don't like the um like the way that it doesn't deal any damage to minions now. That is very un uncool. I don't like that at all. I'll start E here so I can potentially get all three of these. Get a little trade ski on here with her. Hit her with the electrocute there. She got a nice little trade on me too, but she's taking a lot of damage there. And she only has two regular pots. So I'm I'm just consistently starting the Dark Seal two pots just to see how that feels. I'll probably let her shove me in here. She has so she started tier, but she does also have a teleport, so she can just teleport back into the lane. Gotta be careful. She could be looking for a stun here. But we'll just let her push us in, honestly. We have an, a, a Sejuani jungle. It's a really, really solid jungle. In terms of, like, ganking early. Yeah, this Anivia, ha like I said, has almost 2 million mastery points. So I gotta kind of give her a little bit of respect here. I'm gonna come throw a ward over here. We'll just let her shove us in. I think the new tier, if you read it, it it's, she can still stack it off of just using her abilities, but it really stacks off of uh, using it on champions, abilities on champions. She gets, like, double stacks. I'll come up for this on this next one. This might still be a kill. She just autos her. It was a little bad. I thought she was going to go in a lot sooner there. All right, we'll heal up here. We could probably just go for her here. She has no flash. Ah, that was pretty bad. We're probably both going to die here. Yeah, we're both dead here. I flashed on top of him, too, to try and help her, but... She should have just turned back into the Anivia. Honestly. Um, I would like to go Corrupting Pot here, but I don't even have enough money for that. So maybe we'll just go Boots here. That's pretty bad because Anivia not only got to stack up a bunch of her stacks there, but she also has teleport. She can just teleport back into the lane. And Lee getting two kills is not good. Yeah, I really don't like that Darkseal doesn't give you amped up healing either from your uh, potions. But it does give you a little bit of extra health, so... I might look for a top lane roam here. Just because that guy's super far extended up. But I'm pretty sure they're going to have this scuttle here. Yeah. We're going to be pretty far down to this Anivia. Because she got to farm up that whole wave there. Looks like our team's doing really well bot lane. Nice, they did. They got both of those kills. There's the Lee. I'm just going to track him here. Alright, he just dipped over. I was just going to watch him right there. The wave's in a pretty bad spot for me here. And there's not too much I can do against this Anivia with her being so far ahead of me. Just going to let this wave shove in. Once we get alt, we can maybe look for some plays onto her. Yep, 
Man, her slows are pretty insane. Nice, I dodged her stun. This is gonna be big damage here on her. Really good damage. Ooh. That was a good wall by her. But she's definitely in kill range here. If we get a little bit of pressure from our jungler. Um, I gotta be careful here because Lee Sin's right in the area. If he goes for that, we can maybe bait a fight here. She doesn't have any mana, but she also just has her jungler here, so I can't go too ham. And she's looking for it too. You can tell her Lee Sin's like in the area still. With how heavily she's just playing right here. I really want my level 6. I'm just gonna come up here with her. See if I can't make a play with them. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything there in mid lane. Right here, we go for this. Go, 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 go. I feel like he definitely could have charged that. I'm going to lose a huge wave here mid. I thought for sure Sejuani was going to charge that guy there. We could at least take this, though. Just focus on this. Go for her, go for her here. Ignite her here. Get the slow onto her. I can't keep going though. He's got to go for himself. Because Lee will just come over here. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm look for a Q onto it. We should still be able to do this. Uh, I'm just super far down in XP here. Let's go. Go on to these guys. We win this fight here. We win this fight big time. Oh, there's fish this guy. Ah, oh, if that hit, that was a dead. He had to have flash. He had to have flash. There's no way he did anything. This guy needs to stop pinging me, the Sejuani. Like, I played that fight pretty well, honestly. I can't just walk into them with no mana and be in a level down. They'll just kill me. All right, let's see. Where's our Night Harvester here? All right, there it is. This is pretty big. We're going to get this little alternator. It gives us 40 AP, which is a lot of AP. And then um, also just gives us that free on-hit damage. And she has no egg now, so we can just smoke her. And we did get a stack there, so that's five. It's giving us 20 ability power. I do like the the like five ability power per stack now on Dark Seal. I think that's really good. It can turn into a very, very snowball-y item here. Anivia's wave clear is just going to be insane, though. That's fine. I don't think she can poke us down too hard in the lane. I don't even think she got um, any of the XP there or the gold from the towers. Ooh, I kind of messed these up. Not too bad, though. I have ult in 19. She has no uh, alt here. Ooh, I have alt super soon. I can probably kill her. Wow, that man, these fishes have been really bad lately. That was really, really bad. I thought for sure it would go out there to her. I'm gonna have to reset off of that. If I hit that fish, she was dead for sure. 100%. Man, Fizz's ults feel really weird in this new season. I don't know if it's just me or not. But we're going to sit and wait for this health crystal here. Because even on the last game, like, my ults felt super weird. We'll see. I might have to just look back at these videos, too, and see. Because maybe my mouse placement just messed up. But I felt like I had that. I felt like I queued off of her and then had her right over her. Yeah, if I hit that fish, she was dead for sure. All right, let's just farm up a little bit here. We may look for a gank topside here. Looks like York's doing pretty good. She 
chick has no stun now. But I can't really fight her in her little, little alt right there. I have alt in 17. Can maybe do something. Alright, we should be able to collect all these. She's at 86. Man, we're at 40. That's really, really bad. I mean, we have been roaming a lot. And she did get a nice early lead onto us. I want to go for an alt onto her, but it looks like my team's doing the dragon. So if Lee just decides to fight me here, he can. Alright, that one lands. She's dead here. Wow. I don't know how that happened. I'm just gonna Q so I get out of his alt, or her alt rather. Nice, get a big shut down on him there. Flash for the slow here. Might be able to do it. She can get her passive. Oh, the Soraka heals. If it wasn't for the Soraka heal there, we kill her. Let's see, can we get our item yet, though? No. Very close. But I did get a kill there. But not terrible. Got a big shutdown on Lee. So I can grab my Amped or my Blasting Wand here and be super close to the Night Harvester. Set was super squishy there, huh? Very, very squishy. I, I can't understand any of these items. That's another thing I really don't like. The items look pretty bad in my opinion like the um, the design of them kind of hard to tell anything but we're getting 15 ap right now from this so it's 30 ap from a 350 gold item that's insanely efficient i'll probably just look top here try and dive this guy with my alt he's got his maiden so his maiden can tank up some damage here Look at that damage. That was insane. Well, the fish doesn't hit. Uh, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing there. That was weird. We saw the Nivea teleporting in. I can't really keep going. Anivia is just going to be there. I'll probably just sit right here and collect this wave. I don't know. I might be able to kill this guy. Even without alt. We'll see. Yeah. Especially with him taking that tower shot. I just E right here. Ooh, he flashed. I don't know if I can get him here. Especially if like his team's here. Nah, he flashed away from that. If he didn't flash there, we would have killed him for sure. Or if we had flash, I could have just followed his flash. It's all good. I just want to farm up till 900 and then I'll get my Night Harvester. Dude, we had some insane damage on the Lee Sin, though. From that one proc. They might be able to get that Anivia. She has no egg. I was about to say, Lee Sin will be in the area, though. Nice. They get a shutdown on her. Alright, we got just enough for our Night Harvester, so we'll back and get that. That is our Mythic. That's going to give our Legendary items, like, increased stats. All right, so let's grab that. I haven't really been buying pink wards. I definitely should be. All right, we'll head back out. The only thing is, this doesn't give us mana. But I run Presence of Mind, so I think this... Yeah, damaging an enemy increases your mana regen. Um, it's a little bit different from Season 10. What is that orb on him? I guess that's his mythic item. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'll be able to kill this guy. Look for a fish onto him. This should be good here. Just E his uh, stun there. And I should be able to kill this guy. That's kind of insane that he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me right there. I have to recall there because I'm so low. But we did get a kill uh, KP on that guy. Is 
That's a pretty good alt by Seth. They should win that. Sejuani's so tanky. Let's go. Mm, what is this chick doing here? Look at that damage, though. That was insane damage. And all we have is one item. That was really, really good damage. And she's ahead of us, too. She's level 11. So she's a level up on us, and we still dead that damage to her. I might just look bot here. I'm afraid of running into Lee here a little bit, though. Blast that for my team so they can take out some vision here. Ooh, right here, right here, right here. She's toast here. That was a bad ult by or a bad flash by her. No idea why she would flash that. I have no mana though. My team should be fine doing whatever they're gonna do. We killed their Anivia, so I need to just come up here and farm. Cause she does have 131 farm. She's kind of killing us in farm. Uh oh. Team went down there and kind of trolled. Oh no. Soraka. I bet it's the Soraka, honestly. With the heals. Alright, let's see. What's going to be our next item here? Let's go Lich Bane. It's pretty consistent. You know I mean, we usually go Lich Bane anyways. Just get some mana back and then we'll run. I don't like that Presence of Mind doesn't um, give you permanent mana. That's kind of... Mm, I like that better because it increases your mana pool. I think in next game, I want to try a uh, Leandris build as well. We'll try the Leandris because that gives you mana. It doesn't give you health though. But we'll test out a bunch of builds and see what feels best. Honestly, this Night Harvester feels really strong. Like the little on-hit damage you get. Alright, that was a good fish. That one hit good. Nice. I'll just E this. Auto w -er. There we go. That's the burst we're looking for, boys. Ooh, if that guy would have got a little bit more there. That's the burst potential right there. Night Harvester uh, on hit damage proc. And then the Sheen as well. It felt real good. Looks like she's going a death cap second. All right, let's just come back up through here because I don't feel very safe here. I have ult in 30, so I could potentially look for another kill on tour soon. Look at this damage right there. It's kind of insane. I'm going to flash for another auto and just kill her. Man, our damage is absolutely insane on Fizz right now in this season. And if they don't, like, nerf any of these items, we're going to be insane. Really, really solid. I'm going to reset because I got 1,400. I can grab this and then maybe even um, tier 2 boots. Yeah, this Night Harvester feels really strong. Feels very, very strong. Let's see. Where's our boots at, boys? Guess we could just click on them here, huh? Um, Dang, the Sork Shoes cost 1,100, eh? So we're not going to be able to get those. Nice. We got two shutdowns right there. Very good. And it looks like York's just running it down mid, which is also good. I may just go top lane. They should get that bottom lane tower. Looks like we're doing really well. This Lee Sin's got all their kills. Honestly, Lee Sin probably should have given over some kills to the his team. She's still beating us in farm, but that's kind of the nature of the beast with the Nivea, honestly. I could probably flank her and look for a kill onto her. They probably have vision through here, though. Guess I can just go top lane. Soak up some farm here. I don't think I beat this guy at all. 1v1. Because we didn't beat him earlier with Ignite. If it wasn't for York coming, we would have lost.
We'll see though. He doesn't have much mana. Just he's level 13. I'm level 12. I'll sit here. Wait for his stacks to go down. And we might look for a fight onto him. Because my team's demolishing them everywhere else. Nice. That movement speed is pretty good. I just, I don't think I can kill him. I'm going to wait under my tower. Because look at how much damage he did to us. Look for a fish onto him. Ooh, that fish would have landed. I just need to stall him here for York. Hit him with the QW through him. Wait for York to kind of do the bulk of the damage. And I'll E him here for the slow. And Q him. And just work him down. Yes, sir. That's how you play it. All right, and then we can get a reset in, grab our sort boots. Or can we actually grab Lich Bane? Super close. We'll just grab the boots. Tier 2 boots, I think it's going to be really good. Give us a lot more damage. Ooh, the Ash Flash. I like it. She's uh, thirsty for it. All right, this Anivia, we just one-shot her. I think even without all. She did kill the set, though. Yeah, I definitely missed the um, the wave clear from Proto Belt. I really enjoyed having that. But this damage is pretty insane with Night Harvester. Like, we don't even have Lich Bane yet. And we are one-shotting people. I might just go look for this Ash. Take out this ward. We have a dragon up in 20. We should be able to get that pretty easily. All right, their jungler's pretty strong. Let's take this out. I'm going to clear this wave, and then we should be able to get this um, dragon pretty easily here. All right, I'm going to come look for this as well. We only need a little bit more gold, and we'll have our Lich Bane, and we'll be super spiked up, I feel like. Got her. This should be a kill here. Denied her. We really just need to kill her, take her out of the fight. Now we just turn back onto this guy. Nice. I'm just going to come to this Drake. Ooh, York going in. York going in, in. Alright, I'm just going to come back to the dragon. Throw a ward over there. Actually, I'll just stay here. They got that dragon pretty easily. Lee Sin's dead. They really can't contest. I could potentially grab this. I bet York will get this with his Q, though. Alright, we'll get a reset in here because I can grab my Lich Bane. Be super big. Alright, we'll grab the Lich Bane. And then, let's see. What else is really good? Um, honestly, we could do a Soul Stealer because we're freaking... And I heard that Soul Stealer is absolutely insane. What is it? Rabidon, Demonic's Embrace. I heard this was really, really good too. You know what? Instead of uh, Lich Bane or um, Zhonya's, we'll, go, we'll just go full Glass Cannon here. We'll go the Demonic Embrace. He's dead here for sure. It probably would be smarter. Like if this was ranked and I was like tryharding, you mean, for the LP, I would definitely go Zhonya's in this situation. Just because Zhonya's so good. That stasis effect. But we'll do the Demonic Embrace just for the ridiculous damage. I mean, it feels... I definitely feel very strong here. That should just bleed out. Ooh, are they doing Baron? Oh, wow. Just between three people. Well, they had Jax there, too, I guess. If she could stop their backs, that's pretty huge. But hopefully she doesn't die. I'll throw a fish over there just to stop him. Hopefully. I mean, our team might be able to get something there. Probably not, though. It was a good Baron play by them. Dang, they didn't even get a tower. That is a little rough. I can deny these, though. Let's see... Can maybe just sit here. I, they probably have a ward here though, since they did just fight our uh, Yorick over there. All right, let's just sit right here. See if I can't catch the Anivia. 
I didn't think she was going to be coming over. Um, I would assume that the rest of their team's coming since no one else is showing on the map. I'll just sit right here. Wait for this next wave to show. And I can just kind of collect it. And if Anivia starts walking up on me, then I know her team's coming. Because there's no way she takes a fight against me 1v1, right? Because we're just so far ahead of her. Alright, we have two people over here. Might just look for a reset. I can grab... Let's see, wow, that gives you health, huh? A bunch of health. Kind of like a tankier thing, huh? Tankier item. We will grab... Man, I kind of would like that health, huh? Gives you almost 400 health. And plus, we already have health from... Um, do we have health from Night Harvester? We do. This is kind of like a pseudo-tanky, like, uh, AP tank build. They did get Baron, but they're really not doing too much with it. If I'm being honest. Alright. I do feel pretty strong here. Let's see, let's come throw some vision down over here. I definitely don't think I can 1v1 this guy at any point. He's got a blade. Whatever the divine thing is. I don't think we can fight this because they have so many people here. Yeah, they have vision here. Oh, wow. Look at that insane damage. I think he's just dead. They have vision there. Dude, he hit me with one, like, ability and took oh, so much of my health. I'm just wondering where. I can't go in on this guy because they have so many people here. Even if, I, I know I can kill the Ash for sure, one shot, but we need, Sor or not Soraka, but um, we need our Sejuani with us. Oh, she's toast here. I'm just going to flash past her here and then work this thing down. I should kill her here. Ah, she flashed. If anyone would have helped me right there with her, we would have won that. But we should win this with just the CC and set. Maybe not. This guy's going to kill them both, I think. We don't have the damage. Even through the ignite. He's so low. Ah, man, that was super, super close. If, um, if my team would have just went on the Anivia, we would have killed her. I don't know if I want to go to Soul Sealer now because we did lose some stacks there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and sell that and then we'll pick up Blasting Rod. We need 1250, so we still need a good amount of. That guy could just run in and go for the Drake. Doesn't look like he knows. All right. We do have our Lich Bane. We're pretty strong. We could probably do a little bit of splitting here. Oh, we just give up the Drake. A little unlucky. We have a super fed Samira. Honestly, our whole team is really strong. We shouldn't be losing fights. If I had a Zonya's there, I probably... I, well, not probably. I definitely would have survived. I mean, I think we could fight this. Here, let's go for this guy. Pretty sure we just killed him here. She has no egg. This guy's toast to me. Nice. samira has got to get out of that ult. Nice. Big shutdown right there, too. 
picked it up. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we can take it. I think he dies to Jax up there, though, honestly. Because he doesn't have his Maiden. Yeah. And Set dies there, too. But we could take this real fast. We do lose in hit there, but we get Baron for it. Let's see. Let's grab our Demonic Embrace. And then we'll start building... I was going to say we can start building Rabidons. Um, I heard Nasher's Tooth is absolutely insane as well. Might just try that, too. Just go full balls, uh, balls to the walls here. Just full damage, you know what I mean? Go Nasher's Tooth into a Rabidons. And then Nasher's will give us a lot of attack speed, too. We're just limit testing here, boys. We really don't have any idea what we're doing. Just building a hosh posh of items. I see this guy here. He's level 18. I definitely can't fight him. I'm only level 16. Even with Baron minions, there's no chance of me winning that fight. But we might be able to look for a fight over here. One of these guys. A good engage. Pretty sure we can fight these guys. This E right here for the slows. Oh, that guy's doing insane damage. That's kind of crazy that he's able to just do that. I have no idea what items he has built, but that's pretty insane because before that, I'm 8 and 2, and he's able to just. Like 3v1 us there. It's actually super insane. I mean, I know he's getting heals from Soraka and stuff. Maybe a Morello's is what we're going to have to build, actually. I think the Morello's is what we're going to have to build to stop his healing. Look at He's getting so much healing even under our tower. Pretty insane. I mean, I guess it is Jack's late game, though. Honestly, that might be game right there, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Jax is just going to kill everything here. He's fully stacked on his passive, so we can't even, like, do anything to him. Yeah. Uh, not too much we can do there, boys. But, uh, hey, those new items felt really fun. We'll take you to the after action after this. Alright guys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Anibia mid. Um, so starting from my top laner, my top laner was sitting at gold 2. We had a gold 1 in the jungle. I'm sitting at platinum 4. We had a gold 1 ADC and a platinum 4 support. Um, starting for the enemy top, they had a diamond 1 in the top lane. Level 18 jungler. Probably this guy just building up an account um, for the new season. Because he didn't play bad at all. He was actually very fed at one point. Um, the Anibia we were going up against in lane was diamond 3. They had a diamond 3 ADC and a level 168 support. So yeah, this game was really fun, honestly. Just testing out the new items is, is honestly just a lot of fun. We've had two games now so far. Um, I, I definitely don't know how to build Fizz. I'm just kind of trying, you know, throwing a bunch of different things together. Uh, this probably wasn't the most effective build, especially into this super fed Jax. But um, so far, Night Harvester feels really, really strong. That's like I really enjoy that. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I can, I definitely feel the like the damage, the burst, right? Um, even whenever, whenever we just had just Night Harvester and we started fighting the Anivia, we were doing insane damage. So this felt really good, especially with the Lich Bane. The burst is insane. Maybe on tankier targets like uh, the Jax, it isn't going to work that well because this guy, what, 400 extra health. This gives uh, life speed and attack speed. He had Ninja Tabby. This had 500 health. So he had like, man, he had an extra like 13, 1400 health. So he was pretty tanky himself. Oops, sorry, boys. Sorry about that. But yeah, he was pretty tanky himself. Um, definitely don't think like I could just burst him down. If this was any other top laner other than a late game Jax, we probably would have won this game. But we just we couldn't take that fight against him there at the end. He was able to just kill us all, essentially. But uh, yeah, the new, new items feel really good on Fizz. I think if I 
would have noticed I had this 10 stacked a little sooner. I, I would have upgraded and say, seen how the Soul Stealer felt. But yeah, so this was this game we even played from behind, right? Like we got killed, got a double ki double killed by their mid laner early, and we still ended up coming back and being really, really strong, going 8-3-8. Eight, and eight. And, you know, pumping out almost the most damage next to this Jax. So Fizz, Fizz honestly is feeling really, really strong in this uh, this preseason. Feels really good. Um, but, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. It really does help. And we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in specific, like um, if you have any builds that you're doing in the preseason yourself that you found very, very effective with Fizz, uh, just drop a comment. Let me know. And then uh, I'll try and test out the builds. Like I'm definitely trying to test everything and anything that I can. Uh, so that way, whenever the new season does start in January, I'll have like a really good feel for things and I can have my own like personalized shop where I, I, I mean, how you can edit your own shop and have fizz builds. So definitely let me know what you guys are having success with and uh, we'll try and get some games out for you guys as well on that. But yeah, guys, hope to see you on the next video.